Differentiating between male and female ants involves understanding the distinct physical and behavioral characteristics that set them apart. Ants, like many other insects, have a caste system that includes queens, males, drones, and workers. Each caste has specific roles and characteristics that are essential for the survival and functioning of the colony. To identify whether an ant is male or female, one must consider several factors, including size, morphology, behavior, and the roles they play within the colony. Male ants, often referred to as drones, are typically the simplest to identify due to their specific physical attributes and limited role in the colony's life cycle. They generally have wings and are often only present during specific times of the year, particularly during the mating season. The wings are a notable feature as male ants use them to fly during the nuptial flight, a period when they leave the colony to mate with queens from other colonies. Once this flight is over, male ants usually die shortly after mating, as their sole purpose is reproduction. In terms of size, male ants are often smaller than queens but can sometimes be similar in size to worker ants, depending on the species. However, their bodies are usually more slender, with a less robust thorax compared to worker ants. The antennae of male ants are often straight and not elbowed, unlike those of females. Another key morphological feature is the presence of genitalia at the tip of the abdomen, which is used for mating. Female ants are generally categorized into two main types, queens and workers. Both are female but differ significantly in their roles and physical characteristics. The queen ant is the reproductive member of the colony. She is usually larger than the other ants and has a more developed thorax, which was used to support her wings during the mating flight. After mating, the queen sheds her wings, and her body becomes adapted to life within the colony, where she spends most of her time laying eggs. Queens have a larger and more pronounced abdomen, which houses the reproductive organs and the necessary structures for egg production. Unlike male ants, queens live for several years, often longer than other members of the colony, as they continue to produce offspring throughout their lives. Worker ants, the other category of female ants, are usually smaller and lack wings. They are the non-reproductive members of the colony and are responsible for various tasks such as foraging for food, caring for the queen's offspring, defending the colony, and maintaining the nest. Workers are sterile meaning they do not reproduce, and their physical structure reflects their roles. They have a more developed mandible for carrying food and other materials, and their bodies are generally more robust compared to male ants. The antennae of worker ants are elbowed, a feature that distinguishes them from males. Unlike queens, worker ants have a more uniform body size within the same species, although there can be some variation depending on the specific roles they perform within the colony such as being minor or major workers. In terms of behavior, male and female ants also display distinct differences. Male ants are not involved in the daily activities of the colony. Their primary function is to mate with queens, after which they typically die. This limited role means they do not participate in foraging, nest building, or other communal tasks. In contrast, Female ants, particularly workers, are the backbone of the colony's daily operations. They are actively involved in foraging, defending the colony, caring for the young, and maintaining the nest structure. Queens, while not directly involved in these tasks, play a critical role in reproduction and ensuring the continuation of the colony. The queen's primary activity is egg-laying, which she can do prolifically, producing thousands of eggs over her lifetime. The differentiation between male and female ants involves a combination of physical, behavioral, and genetic factors. Male ants are typically characterized by their wings, slender bodies, and specific reproductive roles, dying soon after mating. Female ants, encompassing both queens and workers, display a wider range of physical characteristics and behaviors. Queens are large, with developed abdomens and thoraxes, primarily focused on reproduction, while workers are smaller, wingless, and engage in various tasks essential to colony maintenance. 
The distinction is further deepened by their life cycle roles and the underlying genetic mechanisms that determine their gender. Understanding these differences is crucial for studying ant colonies, their social structure, and their ecological impact. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.